welcome to Magic Gathering Street. I'm Dan. I'm playing uh, the second round in this play run event. It's Heirloom, and the reason I didn't uh, explain to you what Heirloom is is because I didn't really know. I just copied a, a deck from last week. But apparently, there is this site, MTU Heirloom Webscom, where you can read all about it. It's a budget format, so you can play cards in a certain price range. So commons 10 cents or less, uncommons 20 cents or less, rare 40 cents or less. Uh, which it might mean track task soon. <laughs> and mythics $1 and less. Uh, the play, the pre <laughs> the prices are given by MTG traders and they set the list at certain points. Core blade. Uh, the site looks really good actually. I am gonna become a member of the site. Register. Look at this! I could promote it even on... Oh, my name became beautiful, the Swedish character. But here's a video. Nice website! I like it. Uh, okay, the video is up. So what's up with the second round? Huh. Locks on Warhammer. Pretty nice against Burn decks, but I don't know what, what the decks are there in the format. I really don't know anything about the format. I should check out the last week's event. Uh, maybe I should do that on gathering. Classic heirloom, most recent event. Oh, this is the event running right now. So, so I can't see the last event. Hmm. The format seems fantastic for brewers. So many cards are legal. This must be like heaven for a brewer. I'm not really sure what we're waiting for here. Heirloom round two. No, I'm still listed as against Dion Mag. This is the worst part of the play run events that you never know what's happening. And they're like random delays that you don't know why they're they're happening. I'm sure there is a reason, but you really feel out there while as in the daily events you know what's going on all the time. Having said that it's not like I ever missed anything because of it, so you just have to wait and be patient. Round two is up. Trying to load the page. I'm playing against Mal Meltalar. That will be great. 
Mel Talar, he is famous for playing white humans to 3-1 finish. Uh, doesn't sound like heirloom. I am actually on a fantastic winning streak right now. This is this was my ninth victory in a row. I won a poker tournament. Uh, I won the finals with Delver and then I went 4-0 with Standard. So nine straight wins at Gadling. And my rating is now 17-14. So let's crush this guy with our awesome green dudes. I never resolved Wolf Revenger in my life. But he looks good. Maybe I should play him later when I have like green mana. So, uh, Elf? No, later is boring. Earlier is good. Right, regeneration doesn't matter against his, but it does, doesn't it? It matters because green stuff don't bury things anymore. I am so old, having played magic since the very first year of magic. So I should save the... Tusker, he's killing the elf. We don't approve of that, do we? Now we have to play the vendor. Can't wait until we have five mana, it will take forever. Seems that mono black is popular in this format. Ooh, Gatekeeper Malakir. Uh, attack. So maybe I should cast the elf. No, 3-3 three, three hexproof guy, but what do I do against another sacrifice effect? Elf prey upon. So having sacrifice folder out sounds like a good thing. Tendrils, and I just play the elf, so that doesn't work for me. Hmm. Why don't I play four Dungrove Elder? He seems. Better than a Briar Pack Alpha, better than everything. But I just took this list. I thought there was something about like some cards you could only play one of, but he seems extremely powerful. Night Talk. Hmm. Pretty good. Oh, 
bloodline keeper. Jesus. This is not working out as I expected. Five or more vampires, that's a lot of vampires, but two two flyers will be really bad. Well, we're getting nowhere, right? And we have already lost this. I think, I think this, the Bloodline Keeper is just something we can't win against. Uh, we don't have a lot of stuff against it either. Except the silk lash spider then, so... Oh, vampires! Pretty nasty. I don't know if there's a way out of this. Orox herd, that's too expensive, right? They talk about the document with all the legal cards, but I can't find it. Check out Orox herd. Eight cents. I can play that. Maybe it's just way too expensive for the format. Elves, pretty, pretty awesome. Bloodline Keeper, quite good. This is pretty good. A <laughs> nice top deck. <laughs> Only skill in this game. Of course, Castoria, Highborn. Whoa, he has five vampires. Nasty. Other vampires get plus two, plus two. So I die next turn, right? Yeah. I think his deck uh, seems a lot more focused than my deck and looks a lot better. Oh wait a minute, I can still block this guy. No, yeah. Uh, okay, how do I counter this? He is not in the graveyard doing stuff. I want to run for Acid Mosses and for Dungrow Elders. That's what I want to run. Tagelmoor was pretty good. Avenger, not fantastic. This guy wasn't great. Hunt Beast seems awfully slow. We don't need that. I don't know about Revenge of the Hunted. Plus six, plus six, and Trample. Maybe I need that f to break through. Let's do it. Well, Orox Herd is too slow, right? Tangleworm felt super strong. Four Elders, cut the Wolf of Enders, maybe the Hunt Beasts move to the sideboard. I don't know, I'm not a brewer. I will just destroy. A well thought out deck. 
here is Revenge of the Hunted. All creatures able to block do so. That might be pretty good. So, Wolf Avenger will die again, but I have to present some sort of threat. Ah, uh, Gatekeeper, yeah. So bad for me. Acid Moss feels very superior. Yeah, he doesn't miss any land drops. Why do I even play this? Well, the combo with Revenge of the Hunted seems very good, but I think that's just too much. Being too hopeful, I'm gonna play him to protect me against sac from sacrifice effects. Do I want to kill something? Bloodline Keeper. Well, it doesn't really matter which one. I target creature against Trample. Everybody has to block it. Okay, it was good because he only needs to deal one damage to them to kill them, so he can then trample through with the rest. So that was the correct play. Okay, and now I will just attack with everything. Then comes the Blood Witch. That wasn't very good because now I can't do anything. Hmm. Except kill her with this. And now he needs to play two blockers. Oh, my deck is full of clever tricks. No, it's just random. I should have waited and uh, played the Revenge of the Hunted for a lot more. No! That guy is so good. So many cards are so cheap nowadays. This format is pretty advanced, actually. Hmm.
he still has two cards, so I assume that he plays a blocker. I prefer getting the tree damage in instead of just doing nothing and saving Wolfrey Avenger. Maybe he has only lands, maybe I get lucky, but I sense that he has a removal spell. And that will be trouble. Mr. a Nighthawk. It's of course a giganormous problem. To kill the Nighthawk here and play the Avenger? No, I, play, I just play the Avenger at the end of his turn, right? Well, I can't do five damage, can I? So he has a removal spell then. Damn it. Never gets any easier. Tendrils even. Well, I'm just crushed here. Not much to say about that. You can even just attack with both here because uh, I will take nine rounds to kill him. That's way too much. But the chance that I actually find something that can block is, of course, quite likely. Hmm. Now he gets the two life, and I have to stay back. I should have attacked first, of course, because no, I shouldn't. Ah, of course I would have done three damage. And now I'm still tapped, so that was bad. It's getting late here. Going down to seven, if he has any business now, I can't do a lot. <laughs> oh my god. I like his deck actually. It's uh, my favorite uh, heirloom deck so far. And it just crushed me. I didn't win anything, did I? Just O2. Yeah, no GG from him. That was probably way too easy to crush me. Thank you for watching.